Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. This is my chill 5 day in LA vegan foodie vlog where I get to hang out with my friends and eat good food. On the first day, I'm meeting up with BTS ARMY friends in Santa Monica. Before that, I grab an acai bowl and an oat latte first. Meet Gail and so Stephanie. We're all Indonesian and we love BTS. Me and Gayo have been following each other on IG for a couple years, but we've never seen each other in real life back home in Jakarta until today. In the evening, I take her to have dinner at Monty's in K-Town. She's never had vegan food before, so I'm popping her vegan food cherry tonight. We order three items to share, which are Travis Barker's matcha shake, chicken tenders, and double impossible burger. Let's see Gayo's reaction. This is my first time trying their chicken tenders. The inside is a bit too mushy for me, but the sauce is great. I personally think Monty serves the best Impossible Burger in town. Let's see if Gayo likes it. As a matcha-holic, I find this shake lacks that rich tea fragrance. It tastes just like a sweet green-colored vanilla soft serve. On the second day, I am meeting up with my bestie from uni. We're having lunch at the Brandy Melville Cafe located inside The Grove. I saw one of my favorite vloggers, my family, raved about the vegan pizza at this place. So I want to give it a try. Me and my bestie share this one pizza together. Daphne! <laughs> the pizza is so light and fresh. Delicious without the good. And then my green card, I have to come here once a year. The last time we saw each other was nearly five years ago, so we have a lot to catch up. We mostly rant about all the stupid fuckboys we dated. After lunch, we walk around the grove for a bit. We decide we might as well have dinner together at Veggie Grill. This is so nice, so you can talk very well. Oh, his croissant is—it's not crispy. Bacon yolian quite well, good, like weird in a good way. Oh, okay. I've never tried this. Because it's not bacon, bacon. Oh, I mean. First bite, if I can even pick it up. Yeah. Oh my god, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> For my last meal of this wonderful day, I'm having this passion fruit soft serve. I really cherish our effortless friendship where time and distance don't matter. She always gets me and we have so much in common. We even have cute nicknames. She calls me Meatball, I call her Dumpling. Hi! Oh my gosh. Doyle! Logan! Logan! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love you. On the third day, I have a gig. My very first employer, who is also a good friend of mine, Jan, offered me to do same-day edit for a bougie wedding down in Dana Point, Monarch Beach. My job is basically to put together a short video using footage shot throughout the day 
get it done and ready to be played in front of everyone at the reception. It's very high stress. I'm grateful that Jan always trusts my editing skill. She makes me feel appreciated. Because back home in Indonesia, people around me don't really value creative work. I can never see myself doing the same 9 to 5 job over and over again. I don't like to be stuck in one place forever. As long as I can afford it, I will keep on traveling. Anyway, this is an Indian wedding, so they have quite a few vegan options. I'm really grateful to be a part of this team consists of talented people. If you want to capture your special day, look no further. Who knows, I might be the one editing your wedding. By the time we're done, it's nearly midnight, so Jen let me crash at her couch. Hey, Haku. Oberyn. Hey, Oberyn. Hey, handsome boy. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So later at, when Alex gets back, I think we're gonna take them again to Orange County because they love they just wanna be. Oh just hanging out in yeah. Florida. Oh that's so yeah. nice. <laughs> in Tesla style. You deserve to be in a Tesla. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love Jochen. It's so good. The next day, I have lunch with my mom's friends. The last time I met them was probably more than a decade ago. We're eating at this vegetarian Chinese spot full of mock meat. I am obsessed with the orange chicken here. Every dish here tastes authentic and delicious. It's a great restaurant for gathering and non-vegans would enjoy it too. <laughs> After lunch, we go to grab some boba. They're so kind to me. They paid for my meal and my drink. In the afternoon, I get to hang out with more of their family members and watch them play mahjong. for your generosity. Put the other stuff over, right? Like, don't cross over to the head of the knife. Yes, yes. On the fifth day, my cousin got me onigiri and monkey rolls for lunch. There's also a tuna mayo sandwich. You want to try stick rice, orange chicken, and Thai tea. For dinner, I ordered delivery from a vegan Thai place. Bye, Emma. Bye. 
Thank you for letting me use your room. Love you. Can I come back again? Yeah. Aw, thank you. Shout out to my cousin Martha and Julian for your kind hospitality. I love Emma so much. Right now, I'm at UCLA going to the Flix bus bus stop and heading to San Francisco on a red eye bus ride. The solo trip begins now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this LA vlog. Stay tuned for my San Francisco journey. Please support me by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Also, turn on notification alerts so no one upload a new video. See you!